Hey again, YouTube. This is Chris, and uh, I showed you in the last section of the video on that I plan on making a three by three, three by four by five, and I decided to make a video on how to because I'm not going to be making another one, and it's always better to show you actually doing it rather than just saying how to. So, to make a three by four by five, uh, let me move the camera down. To make a 3x4x5, you need to make a Siamese cube, like this one. Uh, a Siamese cube is two 3x3s joined right here along this section. And to do that, let's use two white cubes. To do that, you take two cubes, then you align them the same way. So for me, that would be like this. And then you take the bottom edge out of, you take the bottom edge out of one of them and take the pieces out so that it look like that and then on the other one you take the top edge out and then when you glue them together they'll be put together like this uh, some people call it a Siamese cube type B you'll have a glue joint right here and then you can only turn the top layer and then the right layers on both cubes you put glue on one of the faces and then just stick them together clamp it put weight on it whatever for around an hour and then you'll have a nice tight bond there for a Siamese cube and since I've already done that section since I've already done that part of the video on since I've already made started making that I already have that part done wow I talk in circles anyway yeah I'll put that together later so You'll have a Siamese cube like this. Uh, this is made out of two DN chain cubes. I would recommend using these instead of a normal store-bought cube because they turn better and they're a lot cheaper. But you do have to buy them online, and it takes a while to ship them. Uh, so, Siamese cube like this. This is how it'll look at the very end after you make it. And. So that's the Siamese cube. Uh, you can put them in any way you want. So I put orange on front and red on back on this one. But on this one, I put green on front and blue on back. It doesn't really make a difference. And then once you have that, uh, then once you have that, you want to take your spare pieces. You are going to need to extend each of these on each side. So you're going to need 12 extra pieces after gluing the two cubes together. Just in the two cubes, you get six extra pieces because you had to take them out to glue it. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get very good detail on this. Uh, to mod a corner, you want to take... To mod a corner, this is a corner. To mod a corner, you want to cut this piece right here off this whole thing. Focus. That's better. Uh, you want to cut off this whole section. So, I use... Uh, I use a pair of these cutters for... Usually used for plastic modeling, which is nice. Uh, so what you want to do is just find a flat spot like this and cut it there. And then continue to cut it to cut the pieces off. It will come off in small pieces, which is just fun. See there how I've cut that off, and I got this little piece? You you don't have to keep those, but I keep them anyway, just in case I can find something different for them. And then you just continue to cut off pieces. Here's another one. And then the last one is the easiest. There. And then your corner piece will look like that. It has no extra... Th it has no little thing coming on it to connect it into the normal 3x3. Three three. And then you want to take your cutters and uh, cut off any little bits extra. Like that. That's a big piece. Like that. And then you want to use an X-Acto knife. Preferably one with a handle, not a razor blade. 
and you want to go in on each piece and shave out a tiny bit here not only will it look better on this piece but it will also make it smoother I realized all the problems I had made when I made my 3x3x5 extended uh, you can't really see the difference but when you try to turn it you can feel the difference so wow that would be a lame commercial feel the difference sounds like one of those lame sexual Cadillac in, uh, commercials so when you're done if I can get my camera to focus it'll look like that nice and shaved off um, very smooth right here and here and then you want to keep that and then for an edge piece I have one right here you want to just cut it off you want to cut off this part you want to cut off everything that's showing really when you hold it on a side view so first what I do is I cut it along here and then along the other side, like this. And then I grab it and pull it off. Sometimes it doesn't want to come. There's a little piece there. And then for this part here, cut it a little below. See this line right here? You want to cut it a little below that just to make sure you get it all off. Cut it below on each side. And then again, just wiggle it off. There's another piece. And then you want to cut these little corners off. Like that. So then, just like the other one, then you want to start using your exacto knife to shave off the little edges from your cutting job on this on the edge pieces you don't really need to use the exacto as much um, but it still r helps in making it look better yeah. shave it off a little bit and then when you're done it'll just look like that again I need my camera to focus faster focus oh well it'll look like that so when you're done your piece will look like your corner piece will look like that and your edge piece will look like that nice and smooth uh, all the pieces shaved off and you will end up with a pile of pieces kind of like that that are useless unless you use them for shims or whatever like I do and then I will be editing this video a little later uh, with the, uh, me actually gluing these together. But on this, the Siamese cube, you want to take your piece and find any one of the three sides that would normally rub against another piece and just glue it on like that for a corner. And then for an edge, you want to take the flat part right here, the part that is not hollow but the flat part, and you want to glue it onto that surface. So you only want to glue it in one surface, not the other. And then when they're all done, each of the sides will be extended. And it'll look really good. Um, so in an hour or two, I'm not exactly sure how long, probably an hour or two, I will be editing this again, showing, gluing all of these pieces on, and then another video re-stickering it. So until then.